by filling some soap bubbles with carbon dioxide gas. Has anyone ever played with like dry ice? Or like seen dry ice in like a lab? So like, yeah. The neat thing about dry ice is that it's a really, really, really cold gas. So when you expose it to a little bit of heat, or relative heat, it starts making a lot of gas. And we can trap that in bubbles. We're just gonna get plenty of dry ice in here. That's a lot of dry ice. That's a lot of dry ice, yeah. What do you guys think is gonna happen? What do you think our bubbles are gonna look like? Cloudy. Are gonna be cloudy? All right, good guesses. Let's see. Good guesses. Need some more soap. Need some more. There we go. Whoa. We got some cloudy bubbles. That was Hortense, that was Francesca, and the middle one was Jonathan. Well, oh, no. that was Barry. You wanna see how big of a bubble we can make? Yeah, let's see how big we can Let's go. The bubble. Oh, there we go. If we make a bubble, we're gonna see if we're able to pass it back and forth. Now, these bubbles are a lot heavier than regular soap bottles because they're filled with just carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is a heavier gas than most other gases. You, you killed my ghost. Sorry. There we go. There we go. 